All right, you see, you see all those features? We're going to enable it now. So to get started, as always, to get started, you will need a phone. Well, doesn't matter if you have Android or you have Android or iOS, doesn't matter. You have the phone, but more importantly, the OBD2 adapter. Plug it in and power up your Bima code. This app go to front electronic modules. So we're going to code everything at once because that's how I like it. I don't like to doing each and every one one by one. It's just better to code everything at once. And that should be it. Uh, you go to front electronic module, you wait for it, you wait for it. It will take quite a while to load, but just be patient for it to load. Uh, take it quite a while to load, but just be patient. Couple of things that I like to do. You see here, it says shut off iDrive system when the driver door is open. We want that. Uh, when I open, when you have the music playing on and then you get out of the car, you want the music to shut off uh, right away. So I will, I'll click on that and uh, i'll go to active and save all right the next thing i like to do convenient opening uh make sure it's on and another next thing is convenient closing with access convenient closing with access comfort make sure it's active and we go to the next part doors all right, here it is. Uh, the next thing is a fold and fold mirror automatically. Yes, we want to activate that. Then go to save. Uh, unfold mirror with convenient opening. Yes, we want that to be active. Um, the thing I want to tell you is, you know, when you get into the into the car, there is a drive I drive notification that say hey please confirm and blah 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 i want to turn that off as well so we will go and look for it that's about it for now and what i will do i just click on code i have all of that and start coding and that will activate pretty much everything else uh that you just just you just saw and you wait for a while it it's it's right really fast it will restart the ecu you will see it we might throw a bunch of uh, error code on the on the dashboard but you can ignore those it's not a big issue and that was pretty much it and uh thank you guys if you have any question you know if there is any other feature you want me to show you um stay tuned and uh catch you on the next one